Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. How many of us depend on the Lord in the same way that a child depends on a parent? Childlike faith looks to the Lord for everything. Childlike faith looks to the Lord for strength, for provision, for protection. I believe that having childlike faith is essential because when you emulate the faith of a child, you are emulating the kind of faith that's described in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, where the Bible reads, Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize Him, and He will make your path straight and smooth removing obstacles that block your way. I pray that we may all have unshakable faith. I pray that we might be secured and anchored in Jesus Christ. As you listen, may you receive these words and be charged up in your faith. Stand your ground and trust in the Lord. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So even if all the odds are against you, continue to trust in the Lord and he will raise up a standard against the enemy. People of God, don't be defeated in your heart. Don't feel defeated in your mind. No matter what you face, be anchored and fixed on Jesus. The trial you face may not look like Paul and Silas in prison. It may not be a den of hungry lions, but your situation might seem just as hopeless and just as intimidating. However, when you're in the thick of it, when you have nowhere else to go, don't allow yourself to be moved. Be unshakable in your faith. Be unshakable because you have God's promises to fall back on. Be unshakable because you have the Holy Spirit who will be your strength and your helper. Jesus Christ is the only sure foundation in this cold, ever-changing world. He is our steadfast anchor. Circumstances change. People change. Social norms and public perceptions change. But the Word of God remains true forever. So be unshakable, saints. Be unshakable. Now let us pray. Dear King Jesus, give us faith like that of children. The kind of faith where we totally trust in you. I pray, Lord, that in those moments when we are weak, strengthen our faith, reinforce our faith. Help us, Holy Spirit, so that we would not harden our hearts, but instead help us to believe. Help us to believe with courage and conviction. Help us to believe fully and without reservation in all the promises of God. Help us to fearlessly believe Exodus 14, verse 14, which says, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Help us to boldly embrace your word with no doubt. Help us to declare and hold on to Isaiah chapter 4, verses 29 to 31. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 
You, Lord Jesus, are our source of strength, and you will lead us to walk in victory. Lord Jesus, in your word in Matthew 24, verse 35, you say, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. I believe this is why I stand confidently in you. That's why I can cling to you. If ever I feel like I am overwhelmed by the busyness and chaos of life, I pray that you will rescue me and place me in your arms. May you keep my feet from being swept away and place me on solid ground. Lord Jesus, I pray for unshakable faith. I want to be so sure of you that all doubts will be destroyed. I want to be so persuaded about you, so convinced about you, Jesus, so that if the spirit of fear ever tries to attack me, it will be ineffective and useless. You have given me a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Let me be firm in my stance, Lord, so that when trouble comes our way, I won't panic. I won't lose hope. I won't be swept away by the tide of fear because I am anchored in Jesus Christ. The one who is my shield and defense. The one whose word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Do not let me stumble O Lord, overthrow the plans and the plots of my enemies. Help me to overcome in the name of Jesus. Fight my battles, Lord, as you have promised in your word. I pray that we are going to stand still. I will stand and hold my peace as I see the hand of God move in my life. Because of you, I will stand and testify and say, had it not been for the Lord, we would have been consumed. Had it not been for his goodness, his faithfulness and mercy, we would have been destroyed. But you have never lost a battle, King Jesus. So I come to you seeking refuge and protection. Encompass me and my family, Lord. Build a great wall of fire to protect me. Surround me and my family with your presence and grace. Steady my emotions, Father. When I am anxious, give me peace. When I am troubled, I give you my burdens. When I am worried, I cast my burdens on you. You are the rock of all ages, my strong tower and fortress. I thank you for your protection today. I come to you in recognition of your great might and power. I worship your holy name, Lord. I adore you, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life, my children, and my loved ones into your caring hands. You are a God full of compassion. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize Him and he will make your path straight and smooth, removing obstacles that block your way. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. 
Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call.